When I come to you yet again with another episode of Content 7945 today, I'm outside broadcasting and I've decided to come outside here, check out some guys that are passionate about music and have never stopped believing in the power of local content. They go by the name of Aden Fam Records. The kids are, 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 are happy with what they see over here. Your artists mm -hmm. are probably out there shaking the butt to this. <laughs> <laughs> they must. Yeah, this is, they this need to. Yeah. They need to. Perfect, man. Mm. But yeah, let's get to Let's get to working, man. Um, I think what's a lot, what's on a lot of people's minds over here, on a lot of people's lips, is the question that they like to ask is, what is Dan Fam? A lot of people are asking that question. What is Dan Fam, sir? So first of all, I'm Tlantla Lakinendera. I am the founder of Dan Fam Records, which is now Dan Fam Media Group. It started off a few years ago, which is about in 2016. Um, where we were doing shows and doing promotion of artists and talent shows, stuff like that. And then up until last year, then um, we had a kind of bit of change in the system of how things were going to be run. Now it is actually Denfer Media Group, where we've got different sectors in Denfer Media Group, where we have the Denfer Records, where we're doing the recordings and the um, production of the sound. Then we also have the video production. Then we also have uh, another part where we're going to be doing podcasts and various other things that we're going to be doing in Denfam. So it's just a um, media group that does basically everything. What a beautiful setup you have here, boss. I must say, this is very nice, I must say. Appreciate and it. I'd like to know, and I'd like my viewers to also know from you, how long it took for you to put everything that I see around here, from the, the monitors and everything that I see around here, straight up to the mic that I see on the other side of the booth. Yes. How long did it take for you to put everything together, my sons? Um, so I'm not going to lie to you and just say everything just came together and then everything popped. So um, it was quite a tedious process. Um, we had um, just before it was an idea, so it was preparations and then we had obstacles that we had overcome. So it was first um, securing the money first before we even um, he bought anything before he even purchased anything. So it was first securing the money, um, speaking to the necessary people that we had to speak to in terms of sponsorship wise. Um, then we faced a little bit difficulties, then our plans were a little bit backtracked. We had to go back first, uh, we had to go back, then we redrew, and then we got our budget tight, then we had to source for the materials. Everything that you saw, you, that you so, see. So give me a time period, okay. uh, you know, mm. how many months, how, how many days, how, how so, many weeks? So, so for sourcing of um, equipment mainly in the studio, it probably took us um, two, uh, two to three weeks of just sourcing for everything wow. in terms of equipment wise. Right Up until today, they store a little bit piece, uh, bits and pieces because the studio stuff, you can never get it all at once and finish. So just for sourcing the equipment, um, it's from two to three weeks. Then in actually setting up the studio in terms of building and stuff, I think it was actually a month, a full month, to put up the structure. Wow. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I think another question would be, how many artists do you have under Dan Fair in the 7945? Okay. Um, so in the 7945, in Dan currently we have... Um, five artists that we have so far. So each one, they've got their own um, sort of uh, recording deal and set, or certain contract that we have with them. So they are versatile. We, do, we have artists who are doing um, a piano, we've got hip-hop artists and we've got um, Afro artists. But we're still just out there just searching. You never finish telling to probably come knock at your door. We're not saying these are the artists, these are final, but um, we do have even young ones that we're still grooming up to get to that level that we want to see ourselves as a record label. For artists that are not part of the movement and are interested in being part of the movement, um, what would you suggest are the steps that they should take to, to end up being in that position? 
Um, so the thing is, for me, I've been in the music industry for quite a while. Not long, I don't know everything, but I've known, I've gained enough knowledge to know certain things. There's a lot of artists out there who want to make it. Right? So firstly, for me, music is about passion. The person has to be passion, passionate. Like, I believe in talent, but first of all, I always believe in passion in what you're doing in hard work because talent can only take you so far. So the main thing for me, you have to be passionate about what you're doing, right? Um, I also have personally people who send me their music and their links and they're like, okay, can you guys put me on? Can you guys put me on? And then I do take some time to listen to this stuff. The other thing is if you're really that big enough and then you are really pushing hard enough, I will hear about you and I'll come fetch you without you even approaching me. That's how so tight and strict we are about the music business because um, it's rough out there and only the best of the best can make it because there's a lot of other artists out there who are hungry for the opportunities. So you have to be so good enough that I hear about you. I don't, you don't really have to approach me with your music. If you're really doing good, if you're going to, because in around the place that you're staying, there's a lot of events that are happening there. So if it's the artists that are, because I like to see the hard work, because hip hop and music is a culture. So you have to be living the culture of music. So if you are there and you really hot and you're in my surrounding, in the area that we're living in, I will hear about you and I'll definitely get you. Uh -huh. Not saying I'm closing out any other people out there who's got music they want to send. You can always send, I'll take the time to listen to. Um, like you said earlier on, or like I said earlier on, is that you've been doing this for a while, sir. And one thing that we'd like to know is, what is your goal? Why, why have you been doing this from the beginning? What, why are you doing it now? What, 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 why do you wake up in the morning, come into the studio and light up these monitors, record these youngsters? What, what, what is your purpose? Why, 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 what is your aim goal? What do you plan to achieve? So for me, um, the word goal, um, when it comes to music, I always think about passion. It's the first thing that I think of. Passion, passion. That's my go-to word. I remember in 2016 when I started, I once spent uh, about 1,700. And I was still a little bit younger on organizing a show that failed, right? It is the passion that made me start the whole thing back then. There's the passion that's still making me go because I could have just left it. So for me, music um, is all about passion. Passion drives me. And it, this is something that I'm never going to stop doing. I mean, we've gone to school for different um, courses that I've done, but still, music is the one thing that still just keeps me going. And I know that one day we will be successful. So your goal is to be successful? Exactly. And, and, and what about the rappers, the, the small rappers, the, the, the local rappers? What do, you, what do you wish for them? Okay, so especially for the rappers that are under them, I actually want them to be icons out there. I want them to be viewed as those people where people, other kids in the street look up to them. Because at least they must pre uh, build up their brands, you know. Other kids in the street, when they look up to them, they'll say, no, this is a kid from our hood. We like that. We like that guy. I want to be like that guy. I want to be like this guy. So for Denfem, I just want, because uh, Denfem is not only just um, a record label. It's not only just a media group. I wanted, my vision for it is for it to become a, a brand, a big brand. That when people know of Denfem, they know it's a big brand. And they know it only for the good, for bringing out good music and everything that it does. It's just spectacular work. Definitely. Thank you, sir. Yes. Sir, um, how has the pandemic affected you as an individual, as a record label? How would you say it has affected you, sir? So definitely the pandemic has um, affected a lot of people. Like, it just threw us off course. It's something that we're not uh, prepared for. In terms of uh, us being a record label, I mean, like, if I can take last year, we are just starting to just get our things up to up, up to state and then personally I had um, artists that I was managing and they started just getting a few gigs from other bigger artists. So there was an event where one of our artists was supposed to go and perform, it's quite a big um, event, 
then all of a sudden we were told we're going back our face backwards and everything was booked and everything this this was his first gig that he was going to get and then um, a day before he was supposed to go and perform the show we the president took us a level back and then everything had to be cancelled which was very disappointing where everything was um, it was prepared and everything because we're still growing um, I feel like uh, we're still in the stage where we're growing but then again the pandemic when they put us a face backwards and stuff so that was that really affected us too much badly uh, and having said that um, with the pandemic how it was bringing us backwards all the time we had to just kind of be step, take a step backwards and look at how other people are doing it um, international artists out there how we, we can try to still be active in the world of music um, so we looked at what other people are doing which is going online that is through YouTube platforms um, making sure our music is available on all streaming platforms collaborating and communicating with other artists because there's now the advantage of us having technology we just stay in communication with other producers on the other side and then our, and then our communi community or in another country and we just sit um, send each other beats stuff like that etc so online, having an online presence was the way that we all we saw that okay, most most big producer and producers and artists they going they taking their craft online, having people to stream. That was the only way that people still managed to still showcase their their, their talent and their craft. And how's it? How's the online and social media been working for you? So like we just I can't say we just. I recently tapped into it, um, so mainly for me personally and us as a crew, we've been getting a lot of knowledge um, and a lot of new mentors in the uh, in the whole online uh, network thing. So it's not really easy, but uh, what I've picked up is you, you need to have a lot of consistency in what you do, especially when it comes to music, okay. because there's a lot of people out there who are uploading their music, so it becomes a question of what makes you special. So it's also about uploading quality music and staying constant so far. Hi, Yo, stop playing me. You know it's a boy Blake? How are you? I'm on my way to meet with Dan Fem. You know, the body sick music video for Jumanji. I love Chris Fem. Dan Fem Records. Dan Fem Records. Dan Fem Records. Dan Fem Records.